So today I wanted to talk to you about how to speed up your manifestations in your business and step into your next level self. And this is, I want to piggyback on a video from the other day regarding hesitation. So today I wanted to talk to you about how to speed up your manifestations in your business and step into your next level self. And this is, I want to piggyback on a video from the other day regarding hesitation. Success loves speed. Now this isn't racing around trying to take action, frantic action, because um, you know, you're trying to overcompensate for something that you feel is lacking. That's different. Aligned action loves speed, it loves decisions in the moment, no hesitation. This is immediately going to catapult you into your next level self. So for example, I just hopped on a phone call with someone that I manifested, I intuitively opened up, asked and received and hopped on a call with them because I'm looking for another mentor for a very specific part of my business and made the decision on the phone to invest in myself. Why? Because if you hesitate, you allow the fear to creep in, you allow doubts to creep in, you allow all the reasons why it makes sense to stall or wait or procrastinate. But when you are receiving the next step that you intuitively called in and you don't take action on it, you are dropping the ball and what the message that you're sending to the universe is, I don't believe this will work. I don't trust this will pan out. I don't believe that I'm going to get the results. Because if you did, you would take action on the intuitive, uh, intuitively guided um, opportunities that are being uh, delivered to you. Right? Like you're opening up, you're intuitively connected, you're being guided, you're receiving, but then it comes time to make the decision. What if the decision that you are challenged to make is the one that feels the most scary, the one that's going to get you most out of your comfort zone is the one that's going to catapult you the quickest. And this is true. Now I've made a habit of pulling the trigger when I hire, when I call in a coach or I call in my next mentor, I make a habit now of making that decision in the moment. I don't allow hesitation to sit in. I already know if I can feel if something is in alignment. I can feel if it's my next step. I can feel if the fear, if there is any now coming up because you get less and less of that as you just embrace it and you just know that's like, oh, this is getting a little uncomfortable. That's usually a good sign, you know, and then I just go for it. This gets easier and easier, but what I see happening a lot with spiritual entrepreneurs is they receive what it is they're asking for, literally delivered to them on a silver platter, exactly what they just asked for. And then when it gets in front of them, they start backpedaling and they say, mm, I don't know, well, this or that, you know, and all of this stuff, they start to hesitate and all of the excuses start to pop up and all of the reasons that you're feeling stuck um, start to pop up so that you can stay in that comfortable stuckness, basically, right? Because it's what you've known so far. So oftentimes it's the decision that is going to get you most out of your comfort zone that you're intuitively guided to take that is exactly what is required of you to up level. This is what I refer to as sacred action. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that sacred action is an intuitively guided action that typically invokes fear and definitely will start to backpedal in hesitation, but you intuitively know it's your next step. You've even called it in. You've asked for it. You've been asking the universe for a sign or a solution or the next step to reveal itself to you. And then when it does, you have to take action and follow that action through. Otherwise, you're just sending the message that you don't believe any of this is going to work. You don't believe it. You're going to be successful. 
you're not able, if you're not able to get your trust and your faith and your energy in alignment with your desires, then it's not going to work. It won't work. Your beliefs will always be um, misaligned with your desires. So in order to actually get out of that habit, you have to break the pattern. You have to break the cycle. And I remember the first time I was challenged to do this, it was literally invoked so much primal fear within me because it triggered some root chakra security safety issues that needed to be cleared. And so that's fine if that's where you're at. Recognize that that's what's happening so you can work through that. Um, then it becomes really, really fun to play with this process because now you know that the universe is always going to be delivering something to you that forces you out of your comfort zone because guess what? You signed up for expansion. You signed up for ascension. You've signed up for getting out of your comfort zone. That's what you signed up for, especially if you are on the spiritually awakened path and now you're mixing it with entrepreneurship. You might as well make friends with getting uncomfortable very quickly if you haven't already because that's where growth is that's where expansion is and you are always going to be challenged to get into your next level it will always uh, invoke some kind of maybe level of discomfort or uneasiness and that can dissipate over time it may be very much a primal fear at first like really like visceral like you can feel it in your body right but as you step through that fear and then you take action on your dreams everything un starts to unfold perfectly for you because now you are acting in trust and in, in faith and you are surrendering to the process and you are getting out of your own way. But if you've embarked on the spiritual entrep entrepreneurship journey, which I'm assuming you have if you're still watching this video with me, you need to make friends with fear. You need to make friends with being uncomfortable. You need to make friends with getting out of your comfort zone. You need to make friends with making intuitively guided decisions that are in the moment, that are fast, that don't leave room for hesitation. These are the ones that are going to catapult you to your next level. And I just wanted to pop in here with this because once you make those decisions, I know if you're like on the other side listening to this video and you're still stalling out and procrastinating on what it is that you uh, really are feeling guided to do and you know you want to, let's say, hire a mentor or hire a coach to help get you there and you're procrastinating and you're waiting for the clients to show up before you invest in yourself, like that's sort of like, you know, putting the uh, carriage before the horse, right? That's like expecting, I just saw a quote the other day, um, investing or expect waiting for clients before you invest in yourself is like waiting until you're fit before you start exercising, right? So you got to get out of your comfort zone and embrace that sooner than later if you want to be able to start to align what it is that you truly desire because nothing that you desire is going to be retracted in fear, you already know this, a soul coming into soul alignment is trust, surrender, allowing, right? If you're stuck in fear and you're allowing those emotional responses or those, um, those triggers to rule your life and make decisions from that place, you're not going to come into alignment with what it is you truly desire. You have to prove it to yourself first with your own level of commitment, with your own level of going all in, with your own now or never, I'm going to do this no matter what mentality. And regardless of whether this is a coaching situation you're thinking about or whether it's regarding money or whether it's regarding other areas of your life, relationships or however you, whatever you want to relate this to, you have to be willing to get uncomfortable. You have to be willing to be vulnerable and you have to be willing to embrace your fears and embrace the discomfort and embrace the uncertainty. If you're waiting for certainty, you're gonna be waiting forever. And that's the truth. So if this resonates with you, I would love to hear from you. Uh, drop your questions or comments below this video. Uh, wherever you happen to be watching it. And you'll also find the Soul Align Success Masterclass below this video. So if that resonates with you, um, you'll be invited to hop on a 60-minute deep dive strategy session with me. 
where I help you map out a blueprint for your soul aligned business. And I look forward to any questions or comments that you have in tuning in with you for another episode very soon. Namaste.